This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Network TV brings you a three-hour ad for cable and streaming. <laughs> From the pop culture bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife Three Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So the Emmy nominations were recently announced. Yes. So for the fourth year in a row, believe it or not, let's go over them and give our picks. We don't generally do very well, though. <laughs> no, we don't. In general, though, if you don't have cable or streaming, you haven't seen virtually any of the dramas and uh, most of the comedies. Yeah, and we we don't we are cord cutters, so um, we've seen some of the streaming things, mm-hmm. but you know definitely some of the cable things we, we have haven't not. seen at all. So. But HBO got 94 nominations, followed by FX with 56, Netflix with 54. You have to go down to the fourth place, NBC at 41, and then ABC, CBS, and Fox, pretty much in that range. Yes. (laughs) Now, there are a couple unofficial rules to the Emmys. There's the split vote. Yes. Which means if more than one person from the same show got nominated, it makes it much harder for them to win. In the same category. It's hard to Mm -hmm. win. There's the dead zone, so if you're if the actor died, <laughs> it's basically a lock. Yes. And if it's the final season of a show, it's basically a lock. Yes. Although that has been wavering a little yeah. bit in the in the recent years. So. Yeah. So let's start with outstanding drama, and that is Game of Thrones, which won in 2015. Mm-hmm. Mr. Robot. That's a new show. House of Cards, Downton Abbey, Better Call Saul, The Americans, and Homeland. Now, we kind of split on this. I see that you picked Downton Abbey. Well, it's kind of like last season for Downton Abbey, so that's why the only reason I really picked that. See, and I didn't pick it because of the last season because I don't think they'll like the way they wrapped up everything too patly and neatly. I picked Mr. Robot because it's been getting a lot of buzz. It's, it's, I want to watch it. I haven't seen it yet. But I think that, you know, they they put Game of Thrones last year, which Mm -hmm. was a fantasy series. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of opened the door for some of these weirder TV series. That's true. I suppose you're right. So that's why I picked... And Mr. Robot, I think, is on one of the cable networks, right? It's on USA. Yeah, so I think that opens it up back up to the, you know, basic kind of cable kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you take the next one? Um, Outstanding Comedy, Veep, which won in 2015. Mm Mm-hmm. Transparent, which is from Amazon. Right. Modern Family, which won for four or five years, from 2010 to 2014. Blackish, Silicon Valley, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and Master of None. Now, we we agreed on this one. I, although I'd really like to see Master of None win, I don't think it's going to. It was no. too short a series. Right. I think Blackish, and, and so did you. Right. And you were you were telling me earlier about your, your theory. My theory is, is that... Um, it, there's going to be a backlash from um, Oscar So White and the Black Lives Matter movement. Right. And I think there's gonna, you're going to see a lot of people of color winning awards. Uh, I suspect you're correct on that. Outstanding drama actor, Kevin Spacey for House of Cards, Rami Melek for Mr. Robot, Bob Odenkirk for Better Call Saul, Liev Schreiber for Ray Donovan, Kyle Chandler for Bloodlines, and Matthew Reese for The Americans. I, I just... I have to keep laughing whenever I see a reference to Ray Donovan. Yeah, <laughs> like that's the show the that we're heck? like, what is this show? It's Ray Donovan. You know, we keep seeing these commercials, and I had no idea. What <laughs> like this we're all show supposed to know was. who Ray Donovan is. I have no <laughs> clue. Ray Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, leaning towards my uh, affinity to Mr. Robot, mm-hmm. I did pick Rami Malek, but uh, I think probably you're right in saying that Bob Odenkirk is going to win. Well, and I'm doing that mostly because I figure that's a like a. a, a washing over her from Breaking Bad, you know, because yeah. that won so many times. Yes. Then we have Outstanding Drama Actress, which uh, uh, includes Robin Wright from House of Cards, Viola Davis from How to Get Away with Murder, who won in 2015, Tatiana Maslany from Orphan Black, and personally I think she should win, but right. Claire Danes from Homeland, who won in 2012 and 2013, Taraji P. Henson from Empire, and Carrie Russell from The Americans. And we split again on this, and I said Viola Davis again uh, because she she won in 2015, mm-hmm. plus the backlash, potentially. Yes. And, and Empire is getting a lot more buzz now than How to Get Away with Murder. Mm. And so that's why I picked Taraji P. Henson. And plus, I just like her so much. I've never seen her in Empire, but I liked her in some <laughs> of her other things. Outstanding comedy actor, Jeffrey Tambor for Transparent, who won in 2015. 
Anthony Anderson in Blackish, Will Forday in Last Man on Earth, Thomas Middleditch in Silicon Valley, Aziz Ansari, Master of None, William H. Macy for Shameless. What's interesting here is no Jim Parsons, not even nominated, who won in 2010 to 11 and then 13 to 14, not even nominated this year. What I think has happened is that character, if you watch the show, has become a little less of a stereotype and a little bit more of a, a rounded character. And now people are like, yeah, <laughs> we want the stereotype. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would really like Thomas Middleditch to win because I like his name. <laughs> I think it would be fun to watch people say Middleditch. Middleditch. But I really think Anthony Anderson is going to win. He's been in a lot of TV shows. He's got a lot of credibility, I think, backed up behind him. And he's got the whole um, person of color thing. Right. And I picked Jeffrey Tambor. Uh, again, that's the repeat thing, mm -hmm. which seems to be a trend with the Emmys. Outstanding comedy actress. Julia Louis Dreyfus in Veep, who won 2012 to 2015. Amy Schumer, Inside Amy Schumer. Ellie Kemper, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Laurie Metcalf, Getting On. Tracy Ellis Ross, Blackish. And Lily Tomlin, Grace and Frankie. So I went with Julia Louis Dreyfus simply because she's won the last four years. <laughs> and the show is still doing pretty well. Yeah, and I went with Tracy Ellis Ross from Blackish, same as above. Outstanding limited series, The People v. O.J. Simpson, Fargo, which won in 2014, American Crime, Roots, and The Night Manager. How can Roots be nominated again? Well, this is the this is the, the redo. They did a redo of it. Oh. Yeah, it didn't get a lot of traction. It wasn't, they weren't just rerunning the old No, ones? no, they, oh. they completely redid it. I didn't understand that. Came and went. Okay. <laughs> well, we both picked the people v. O.J. Simpson. This has just been getting so, so, so yeah. much love. Yeah. Um, it's even tempting me to watch it, and we had a no OJ rule in our house during the trial. <laughs> <laughs> so then up is um, Outstanding Reality Competition, which I don't even think should be a category. It shouldn't, but, but it is. The Voice, which won in 2013 and 2015. The Amazing Race, which has won more than anybody else on that category. Mm -hmm. uh, Top Chef, which won in 2010. Project Runway, Dancing with the Stars, and American Ninja Warrior. And I picked Amazing Race because I think they're going to go back to that because, again, it won so many times. And and really, it's it's a stupid category, so yes. it doesn't matter. Right, but exactly. I've got my fingers crossed for American Ninja that Warrior. That would be fantastic. I, I don't really think it will. I really want them to win. It, because it's, I think it's probably less scripted than a lot of the other yes. reality oh, shows. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they do a lot in post-production. Yeah, absolutely. But people are actually running this race, yeah. you know? <laughs> Outstanding reality show host, same as the last category, not sure why this exists, Ryan Seacrest for American Idol, Tom Berger on Dancing with the Stars, who won in 2012, Jane Lynch, Hollywood Game Night, who won in 2014 and 15, Steve Harvey, Little Big Shots, Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn, Project Runway, who won in, won in 2015, and RuPaul Charles for RuPaul's Drag Race. I just randomly picked Jane Lynch. I, <laughs> I, I have no idea. And I picked Tom Bergeron because I like Tom Bergeron. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all it is. It's all a popularity contest. Yeah. Outstanding TV movie, All the Way on HBO, Confirmation on HBO, Sherlock, Sherlock the Abominable Bride. And that was uh, PBS. Mm -hmm. And A Very Murray Christmas on Netflix. And that was that Bill Murray Christmas special yeah. that just occurred to me. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that'll win. No. <laughs> uh, I picked All the Way. Do you know anything about it? Uh, I read yesterday what it was, and I've already forgotten. And I... Uh, but I had a good reason. I'm sure I did. <laughs> I picked Sherlock the Abominable Bride because I just loved it. That, that was like um, probably my favorite episode of Sherlock so far. Oh, I remember now. It's about LBJ... Oh. And it's Brian Cranston uh, who so that'll reprised his win. role from Broadway to do this. Yeah, that'll probably win. So that's why I picked it, because, yeah. of, because of him. Uh, we have Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy. Andre Brower, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Ty Burrell, Modern Family, who won in 2010 to 2012 and 2014. Matt Walsh in Veep, Louis Anderson in Baskets, uh, Keegan-Michael Key in Key and Peel, and uh, Titus Burgess in Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and finally... Tony Hale in Veep, who won in 2013 and 2015. I want Andre Brower to win. <laughs> yes, he he's great in that role, but I'm picking Tony Hale. <sighs> Outstanding Supporting Actress, Comedy, Niecy Nash, Getting On, Kate McKinnon, Saturday Night Live, 
Debbie Hoffman, Transparent, Alice and Janney in Mom, who won in 2014 and 2015, Judith Light in Transparent, Anna Chlumsky in Veep, and what? No Julie Bowen? Who won in 2011 and 2012 and wasn't even on the list this time. Yeah, I think we both picked Alice and Janney here. Yeah. I like Alice and Janney. I hate this show. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama, Jonathan Banks, Better Call Saul, Ben Mendelsohn in Bloodline, Peter Dinklage in Game of Thrones, who won in 2011 and 2015, Kit Harington in Game of Thrones, uh, Michael Kelly in Game of uh, House of Cards, Game of Thrones, House of Cards, mm. and John Voight in Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan. Again, oh. uh, I, I think there's a, there's a probable Game of Thrones split here, but regardless of that, we both went for Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones. Yes. <laughs> Outstanding Actress in a Drama, Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey, who won in 2012, Lena Headley from Game of Thrones, Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones, Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones, Morna Tierney from Game, I mean, The Affair, <laughs> and Constance Zimmer for Unreal. Uh, again, a three-way Game of Thrones split. Mm -hmm. I really want Constance Zimmer from Unreal to win. I like that show so much. <laughs> and that's one that's on MTV, but I watched it streaming. Mm -hmm. I know I don't know what channel it's on, yeah. but it's on a cable. Yeah, it's on cable. And I picked Maggie Smith again last, last year. year. Mm -hmm. The last year of the show. Outstanding variety talk series. Comedian car in Cars Getting Coffee. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. The Late Late Show with James Corden. Real Time with Bill Maher. And The Night Show with Jimmy Fallon. No Colbert. Colbert got completely shut out. Yeah, and I, I don't quite understand. Isn't Comedian in Cars Getting Coffee just strictly internet streaming? Yep. It doesn't even have a thing behind it, does but it? But th that's what's happened this year. Is several categories, especially some of the minor categories, internet like, there's even a, like a short form thing, which is almost all like YouTube stuff. <sighs> they're they're trying to get hip. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm picking The Late Show, The Late Late Show with James Corden. As I did. I really like his format for interviewing and stuff for the most part. Mm -hmm. I think it's the most innovative. Right. Outstanding writing for a variety series. Full Frontal with Samantha B, Inside Amy Schumer, Keen Peel, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, Portlandia, and Saturday Night Live. I've never seen Portlandia, but I never would have picked it as a variety series. No, indeed not. <laughs> I think that's one of those we shoehorned it in there. Yeah. Well, it's sort of a series of vignettes rather than an actual story. Yeah. So I guess you could put it in as a variety series. I'm going to go with Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. As I did. It's got a big YouTube presence. And a lot of uh, talk behind it. And I think, you know, lacking a um, Stephen Colbert mm -hmm. and a, a, and a John, John Stewart. Stewart, you're going to go with John Oliver. Yeah. Outstanding animated program, Archer, Bob's Burgers, Phineas and Ferb, Last Days of Summer, South Park, and The Simpsons. We both picked Archer. Yeah, that was the least offensive one. <laughs> Outstanding guest actor in a comedy series, Tracy Morgan, SNL, Larry David, SNL, Bob Newhart, Big Bang Theory, Brad, Bradley Whitford, Transparent, Martin Mull, Veep, Peter McNichol, Veep. And based on the idea that the, there was a split for SNL and Veep, I went with Bob Newhart. Who's always a safe choice, and I picked Bradley Whitford. We'll see. Yeah. Outstanding guest actor in a drama series, Max Van Sydow, Game of Thrones, Reggie Cathy, House of Cards. Mayher Shala, Ali, House of Cards, Paul Sparks, House of Cards, Hank Azaria, Ray Donovan, and Michael J. Fox, The Good Wife. So there's a House of Cards split there. But obviously... Michael J. Fox. He'll always, always win. Always wins. Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding Guest Actress in the Comedy Series. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, SNL, Melissa Carthy, SNL, Amy Schumer, SNL, Christine Bransky, Big Bang Theory, Laurie Metcalf, Big Bang Theory, Melora Hardin, Transparent, why is SNL considered? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Yeah. They, you know, is SNL a scripted show, a variety show? It depends on the category they're nominating in. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. But they do because <laughs> SNL needs to be in the variety show category. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the other question I had is why are Tina Fey and Amy Poehler nominated together? Yeah. Because <laughs> they were both on there, but it's like, so what? <laughs> They were both on together. They're one actress. Yeah, That's apparently. Silly. <laughs> okay, so based on all that, I'm picking Melora Hardin of Transparent. As did I. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, guest actress in a drama series. Laurie Metcalf, Horace and Pete. Ellen Burstyn, House of Cards. Molly Parker, House of Cards. Allison Jenny, Masters of Sex. Margot Martindale, The Americans. And Carrie Preston, The Good Wife. 
I picked Margot Martindale in The Americans. I just randomly picked somebody out. I have no idea. So I picked Horace and Pete, uh, Laurie Metcalf and Horace and Pete, because of Louis C.K., who actually funded this thing all by himself. He funded his own series with no expectation that he was going to get his money back, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are saying, well, did he lose money on this? But in the long run, he won't. Yeah. And, but he had absolute, complete control, and they did it like a play. And... Um, is it available to watch somewhere? If you want to pay like 30 bucks for it. No, thank for the, you. For the whole series, though. Uh. But um, eventually it'll be on DVD and streaming and stuff like right. that. But but it was this... I, I think because the the members of the Academy are like, wow, I, I need to find some way to make money. <laughs> and he figured out a way to, to, to do it himself. Mm -hmm. We need to support him for that. Yeah, okay. I, that makes sense. Yeah. So... If you want to check out any of these shows, you can always go to canistreamit.tv yeah. and see if it's available. Yeah. And then you can also check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.